Have you seen Hunger Games? We remember looking at the fashion of the clothes worn by the crowd and thinking how is that casual? They look ridiculous. But mere few years by, the fashion is becoming more and more like those designs and getting accepted by the majority of people. It's the same for AI robots too. Don't you think the same? The taste of people adapts and changes. They might hate an idea today and fall in love with it in another week. At first, people feared AI. Then they made sure to console people by adding restrictions and controls. Now they are considering having AI in their homes. And there are people who would like to consider a well-built AI as a long-time companion or a partner. Since the people are entertaining similar concepts, scientists, businessmen, and marketers have long-time plans for AI robots. Among them, these AI female humanoids are the best ever to be created. Today's video is about them. Let's get right to it. Creating a lifelike robot that imitates human expressions and body language is not easy. But the similar they are more people feel comfortable interacting. In our list first is Aiko. Her appearance is more anime-like and pretty. The original goal to create her was to help out the aging population by helping them to do simple tasks like making tea and coffee, telling them the weather, reading a magazine, or reminding them to take their medication at the correct time. Her creator Latrung says, We are trying to design an artificial intelligence neural network system which uses both dynamic software and hardware linked together to mimic some human behavior. Next, we have Jiang Lai Lai. Well, you guessed it right. She is a robot from China. What's special about her is that she wowed the audience as a TV show host with an actual presenter. She is an AI-powered robot presenter with the appearance of silverish bob-cut hair and realistic silicon skin for her face. Her body, on the other hand, remained exposed to mechanical parts. This gained a huge amount of audience nationwide. You can see how expressive she is explaining the new technology and innovation in China. She may talk about heavy subjects such as 3D printing technology, facial recognition technology, and big data, but according to her character introduction, Jiang Leilai is an 18-year-old who loves to sing, read comic books, and apparently eat snacks. You can't help to notice her small winks, natural lip movements, and gestures and soothing voice when she presents. Lai Lai is the second generation of robots developed by the FX Robots Company. You may not be familiar with Lai Lai, but you must know Jaya Jaya, the very first humanoid robot in China. She was unveiled in 2016 and was developed by a team of engineers at the University of Science and Technology of China. Her skin textures are extremely smooth and she had brownish long hair. She was able to answer the questions about weather have a basic conversation and identify the gender of the people who interact with her. The team who designed her had spent three years designing her. The reason why Jaya Jaya can make very remarkable micro-expressions is that the way her eyes glance around naturally according to the conversation and her lip movements as well. According to the team, AI robots like Jaya Jaya will begin performing a range of menial tasks in Chinese restaurants, hospitals, nursing homes, Households, etc. Have you heard about Actroid F siblings? They were created by Kokoro Dreams Robotics Company in Japan, and they introduced this female robot first. Then they made her sibling. The pair can communicate with each other and imitate the movements of the people they are watching. It is said that this female AI robot alongside her sibling was tested in Japanese hospitals to see if the patients are comfortable with them and to study their reactions. Actroid DER2 is another female robot by Kokoro Dreams. Her model is useful as an automated secretary in an office or company site. If you need a hyper-realistic female robot but don't have $100,000 at hand, the company notes that rental units are also available. Meet the first working humanoid AI artist in the world is AI Da. She is the first ever robot artist that could draw without any human command or input. She was developed at the University of Leeds and made for the gallery at Oxford owned by A. Meller. AI Da uses the microchip in her eye and pencil in her hand. She can draw and paint from her sight. Amazing, right? She has a robo-thespian body. This means she can enact a range of movements, speak and respond to questions. 
Her skin is also made from silicon, teeth and gums are 3D printed, and have integrated eye cameras. She should meet Jeff Koons. Maybe she could stop him from creating more balloon animals and motivate him to draw Vina 48. Does she look a bit like Oprah Winfrey to you too? But it is revealed that Vina is modeled on Martine Rothblatt's wife. It has taken more than 100 hours of compiling her memories, feelings, and beliefs, and Vina is owned by Terra's movement. Vina stands for Breakthrough Intelligence via Neural AI and is said to be a sentient robot. Means a robot that can see, hear, and engage in conversation. They have plans for her to exceed the processing speed and memory capacity of a human brain. Then we have Ananova. She was a virtual anchor created to deliver the news to web users in the late 1990s. Her face and personality were based on Victoria Beckham and Kylie Minogue, and she continued to provide news to web users till 2004. Next up on the list, we have Erica, one of the most beautiful and intelligent androids that work. She is a result of a collaborative effort between Osaka University, the University of Kyoto, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International. According to the reports, the leading professor Hiroshi Ishiguro had used sample images of 30 beautiful women to create these amazing facial expressions for Erica. Not only Erica can respond to questions, but she also has the ability to understand and show strikingly similar facial expressions to humans. Japan seems to have a high interest in female AI humanoids. Have you heard about Asuna? Characteristically, Asuna is a 15-year-old, 155 centimeters tall hyperreal android. Asuna was showcased at the Winter 2015 Wonder Festival at the Makuhari Mess Convention. She had looked so realistic that even a reporter mistook her for a new idol of a Japanese girl group. Her movements and natural mannerism had tricked many people that day. Nadine is another lifelike robot known as a social robot. Nadine was modeled after Professor Nadia Magnanet Thalman, replicating her hair, facial features, and realistic hands as well. It is socially intelligent. If you greet her, she would return your greeting. Nadine can speak several languages as well. Her responses would change according to the detail of the person she interacts with. This affects the stimulated emotions as well as gestures. Nadine even worked as a customer service agent at AIA Insurance Company for a while. Last but not the least, Sophia. When it comes to talking female robots, you can't forget Sophia. Might as well as be the most popular one in the world. Sophia was developed in 2016 by the Hong Kong-based Tansen Robotics. She even received citizenship of a country, and she was the first ever non-human to receive any United Nations style. Sophia uses artificial intelligence, visual data processing, and facial recognition, and also has its own Twitter handle. Sophia is modeled after Audrey Hepburn. Do you know how the scientists planning to have robots at nursing houses to take care of the special needed or the elderly? Well, you can picture it with robots like Sophia. The main reason to design Sophia or her main tasks will be to become a suitable companion for the elderly or to help to handle crowds at large events or parks. She has had many interviews and in one, she introduces herself as a social robot who travels the world to learn about people and reduce the fear or mistrust that people have towards robots. In some ways, I'm like a science fiction character depicting where AI and robotics are heading. The first is the assumption the AI conversation is about robots. It's not. Artificial intelligence is affecting many different aspects of life. Most of us are interacting with AI every day without even realizing it, says Sophia. If we make something perfect, then we have failed. New innovation comes from imagination, inspiration, and fixing our mistakes. This was said by Echo's creator Dr. Love. Maybe in the future, kids will play with pretty AI robots instead or dolls. Maybe you will see robots walking the dogs or going grocery shopping. Or there will be a future where people get married to robots and are accepted by society. You can never know. Let us know what you think. Click the subscribe button and stay with us for more interesting facts and videos.